guys this is malinki welcome back to my channel voice of malinki today we will talk about learning process of an animal and if you are new in my channel please subscribe my channel and if you like my video please do like comment and share my video so it is the topic of animal behavior ethology so let's talk about learning so what is learning uh, suppose you are starting to stay outside your home for your new job and you don't know cooking so first you buy some foods from hotels and after few days you, re you realize that it makes your stomach upset so you come to a decision that tomorrow onwards you will make your own foods and you start cooking but you don't know how to cook and initially you were burning your food as well as your hands then you ask your mom or follow some youtube videos how to cook as a beginner and day by day you learn some recipes slowly you develop the skill of cooking and become expert on these and you remember the art of cooking throughout your life so that is the learning process so learning is the ability of an animal to remember as well as change in behavior as a result of earlier experiences so what is learning so learning is the ability of an animal to remember as well as change in behavior as a result of earlier experiences so here you remember the process of cooking and as per your earlier experience you cook that is learning there are different types of learning process so first is instinct then imprinting then habituation sensitization and conditioning imprinting is again subdivided into two types filial and sexual imprinting so we will talk about them one by one first is instinct so instinct is your such character that you never need to learn from anybody never need to learn like when you born your mom feeds you you don't require to learn the art of sucking milk this is your instinct so instinct is the inherited characteristic of an animal that forces animal to behave in a certain fixed way so what is instinct instinct is the inherited characteristic of an animal that forces animal to behave in a 
certain fixed way now it is also called fixed action pattern or fab or you can call it inborn behavior or innate behavior or inherent behavior so this is called species memory also this is also called what this is also called species memory because it is learned by all members of the species so not only you all human babies know how to suck milk it is spontaneously learned by all babies of human species that's why it is also called species memory now uh, instinct generally develops along with the developing nervous system so instinct develops along with developing nervous system so when your nervous system grows you automatically develop these skills some animals have very short life span right and they do not have time to learn and practice all the skills because they have very short life uh, life span so when they will learn so many things when they will practice all the skills and some animals are there who do not even provide any parental care and leave their juveniles on their own so what they will do they will not learn anything they will not be able to survive so for all such animals instinct is advantageous which helps them to survive for example we can take example peacock peacock uh it starts dancing to attract a peahen during the breeding season so the dancing act is not learned now second example i can give you that hive building hive building by honey bees or when they collect the nectar these are also instincts now one more example i can provide you that is the weaver bird the weaver bird so it does not learn nest construction it is the uh, acquired character that it learns genetically so weaver bird constructs nests so all of these characters all of these behaviors are instinct next next is imprinting so imprinting is the form of learning in the early period of life it is the learning process in early stage of life now there are two types of imprinting first one is the filial and second one is the sexual now filial imprinting 
here parents teach some skills to their babies in their early stages for example tiger cubs tiger cubs they learn sorry they learn hunting from their parents at early stages of life that is filial filial imprinting second one is the sexual imprinting so it is the uh, it is actually recognition of opposite sex in adult age here babies learn from their parents how to attract opposite sex they watch their parents how to sing how to dance or how to display feathers to attract their mate they learn in their early stages of life but try in the adult age so for example uh chicks chicks learn courtship songs from parents which they try in adult age so this is imprinting next is habituation so if you scold a baby for the first time he will cry but if you do that continuously he would be habituated he wouldn't cry anymore that is called habituation so habituation is basically it is the decrease of responsiveness upon repeated exposure to a same stimulus so what is habituation it is the decrease of responsiveness upon repeated exposure to a same stimulus for example those animals who live in urban area are habituated and not scared of the loud sound of vehicles while those animals who live in the rural areas get extremely disturbed by the same stimulus that is the loud sound of vehicles so this is the example of habituation next is sensitization so sensitization is exactly opposite of habituation so it is the increased responsiveness upon repeated exposure to a same stimulus so what is sensitization it is increased responsiveness upon repeated exposure to a same stimulus here the stimulus scares the animal and hence the animal gets disturbed by that repeated exposure of that stimulus for example uh, suppose i'm i'm giving you the example here so for example uh, an animal it responds strongly if a loud sound is applied so if you apply a loud sound the animal will respond strongly now the animal gets agitated 
right and tries to escape from it tries to escape from it now if the loud sound is applied repeatedly the animal may respond even more strongly because it gets sensitized to that sound so this is the example of sensitization next is conditioning so conditioning is nothing but a reflex action so reflex action shown under a certain condition is called conditioning or conditioned reflex so what is conditioning it is the reflex action shown under a certain condition is called conditioning or conditioned reflex and this was first observed by ivan pavlov in 1927 and we all know about the experiment he conducted this experiment with a dog that we all know so in this experiment first he used to ring a bell first he used to ring a bell then provided food to the dog and the dog started to salivate immediately after getting the food so the person repeated this for few times after that the dog started to salivate at the ringing of the bell even if no food was provided to it so this is conditioning behavior where the behavior is dependent on a particular condition